Hey YouTube, we're gonna we're gonna be using OBS um, to basically review the X-rays that we have. Um, so what I'd like to outline you outline to you is that uh, the first first X-ray here is uh, showing my uh, right foot basically on the left side and the left side um, over on the right. So it's basically a flip flop. Um, but as you can tell, the, the right foot actually, um, the tibula is actually bowing um, down into my ankle and I'm partially walking on that. And um, the right leg bone is also slightly bowing over to itself. And as you can see, um, there's a huge, huge gap that the actual leg bone is not proportionally fitting to the actual uh, ankle itself. And it looks like that basically everything is sliding over in uh, this direction over to the left so basically what's happening is that when I'm stepping down um, it's um, causing me to lose balance uh, there's there's extreme pain over within um, this this area right through here just keep following the cursor here as I'm showing this and um, what, what's uh, what's problematic as well is that uh, we, we have all this arthritis here um, anything that's extremely cloudy is marked by um, arthritis here and uh, don't get me wrong the the left leg as well has some of the bowing action here however it's nowhere near as great and as you can tell um, the bones are extremely clear and it's not nowhere near as cloudy as what the actual right ankle um, is and this is caused by you can't really see it in this uh, photo here but um, it's it's caused by the actual screw down here that uh, they fused previously um, that's causing all the arthritis and uh, what, uh, what what the actual plan was is if they were going to fuse it is that they were going to take the tibula here and uh, cut it off right around here and um, they were actually going to be putting a plate right in through here and uh, be putting screws about here here and here and here but before they did that they were thinking about cutting a wedge right about uh, around this area and then trying to true up the ankle as much I'm sorry the leg bone as much as possible to sit as much as they could on the ankle bone here um, we're, we're gonna switch over to well that this basically is a really good outline with uh, a nice little Photoshop of uh, basically the plate that would be inserted. Um, anything with a dotted line would be um, cutted here on the left side of the tibula, and um, the wedge here that would be placed out, and basically it, it would be sitting flush like this, so to speak. And uh, what, what the big concern is, um, they were going to take this screw out down here because it said it was in proportional and it wasn't, it wasn't really doing that much anymore for it um, versus whereas before um, I had extreme, uh, it was, uh, my previous doctor called it duck foot where my actual foot was sitting like this and I was walking um, just basically with my right foot straight like this and they put this screw in down here to basically allow it to sit face forward and um, that that they were going to remove and what the big worry was is you see this black arrow here and then this cursor with a question mark is that they were going to slide what, what was going to happen is that that physical leg bone wasn't going to hit proportionally and what they would have to do is physically move this ankle all the way over and they were estimated around 16 millimeters which is pretty it's it's a pretty long distance and they didn't think um, that when they placed these two bones together when they started basically interlocking again like they were supposed to um, that if it was going to work properly um, as far as the left foot goes um, the, the doctor at Mayo Clinic um, he doesn't seem to think that um, this this one needs attention but however this is going to be something that we'll be constantly focusing on and uh, we'll have to go in and get looked at consistently to make sure that everything is all trued up and everything's going in the right uh, progression so to speak um, 
don't get me wrong, towards the future there's probably going to be some issues with it and that will need to be addressed, but we can best bet that I'll be in there pretty much every single year to have them check on it and if anything goes south then we can make the minor adjustments and then address them at that time. Um, here is, uh, here's, here's the right foot at a side angle. Um, as you can see the screw is all the way through the top of the ankle and it goes all the way through the um, back of the, I believe that's the fibula, I, I don't I don't really know the actual technical term of this bone, but um, as you can see all these, all the bones that are supposed to be um, kind of have a space in between them, um, there, it's not there. There's there's so much uh, arthritis all in through here that uh, they're they're really what what the doctor was really scared about is that once he started moving this, um, basically he, he was worried about um, friction that would be caused and um, these open spots that you can see down here with the cursor, um, these these clear openings. Um, these would eventually be filled with uh, arthritis in the near future. Um, when, when they said they would fuse it, um, none of this was ever permanent. It was never gonna, um, gonna be a one-time shot uh, sooner or later after this. And this, all this would be filled with arthritis and then probably more than likely, we, we were guessing about 15, 20 years after the fact, uh, more than likely the foot would have to be amputated at a later time. So, because it just, it, the longevity of the fuse and everything with the bowing of the bones, it just wouldn't, it, it wouldn't sit properly on there. And so, and as we can see as well on this photo, that uh, the ankle bone is definitely, the ankle bone and the actual leg bone is not um, sitting properly on top, top of each other. Um, let's see if I have any more here. Um, Bear with me here, I apologize. Um, and this is basically a um, x-ray of, so if I'm standing like this, you're gonna be looking straight down at the actual foot itself. Um, as you can tell, all the bones, uh, basically you got the big toe there and you have all the other individual toes. And basically what's happening is that you have all the toes like this and they're starting to squish on top of each other in a slanted angle. And uh, what, what concerns uh, me and the doctors most is that this, again, that 16 millimeter slide, is that the ankle bone, if you look at the cursor, is basically located around here. And where I'm actually stepping is right over here. And that's about, that's a 10 millimeter gap. And once they were to true up the bones and whatnot, that's what would create that um, 16 millimeter slit and that's when they physically um, didn't know if it was going to match up properly and obviously through the CT scans um, it basically reassured them that when they did this and they finally set it on top of each other the ankle bone itself through the 3D CT scan was showing uh, so much arthritis and whatnot that once it would be set down it wasn't it was maybe going to be extremely extremely rare that I wouldn't have pain or I wouldn't uh, have to live on painkillers for the rest of, uh, of my life or what have you. So it was it was basically the option of uh, you either do it now or it's going to be happening uh, sooner or later. And I would rather have it now when I was about, you know, in my 30s and try to adjust to it rather than it was um, in my 40s or 50s because we don't know what's going to happen in the near future. Um, if I'll, if I'll be sick or um, anything that comes about it. So um, so there's all the x-rays. And uh, please, if you guys need any further explanation as to uh, photos, what have you, um, please let me know. But that's basically the best gist that you got from what all the doctors said. Um, but if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And uh, thanks for viewing this. And everyone, have a great, happy Thursday evening.